The U.S. Navy and the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force took training and cooperation to a new level. Petty Officer Michael Sanchez shows us how. Commander Fleet Activity Sasebo and dignitaries from the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force have gathered to celebrate the establishment of new international training capabilities. The Basic Communications Office installed fiber optic cable which will allow the JMSDF to connect to the U.S. Navy's continuous training environment. The system enables both countries to participate in bilateral shipboard naval exercises without going underway. We place them into a scenario and allow them to operate together in a variety of geographies and environments to increase training readiness and interoperability between our two navies. Allowing the JMSDF to access the continuous training environment will not only increase readiness for both countries, but also reduce costs associated with sending vessels out to sea.